it's never been faster and easier to start building your own apps, startups, and websites. Through the use of DeepSeek R1, I'm able to build apps faster than I've ever before. I was able to get it on VS Code and then leverage the R1 model to fix my bugs, build apps for me, design apps for me very, very quickly. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to throw cursor and all these AI tools that you pay $20 a month for in the garbage and start using the cheap model that is deep seek r1 so if you're interested stick around for the rest of the video now you might stop me and say late deep seeks ai platform is actually down we can't top up our balance or even get an api key well i would tell you you're absolutely correct but today i'm going to show you a workaround on how to get a deep seek r1 api key so we're going to actually exit out of DeepSeek because we don't want to use DeepSeek's platform and we're going to navigate over to Open Router. Open Router is a website that consolidates all your API keys into a single key. Yes, a single key. It provides you with DeepSeek R1 key completely for free that you can leverage and use for your own code. So we're going to go ahead on Open Router and as you can see they have all the models. They have all these really good models, but we're interested in deep seek r1 so we're gonna write deep seek r1 right here and as you can see there's two versions there's a paid version which costs little to no money and we also have a free one if you're doing smaller projects some things that you want to do for yourself i highly suggest you use the deep seek r1 free but if you're going all out you want to build a startup a website or an app do r1 you know it's small amounts of money i'm going to do the free one because i feel like a lot of people want to just test the waters with this so i'm going to tell you how to use the free one so you're going to click on the free one and as you can see here it gives you all these awesome uh, insights on what it is, the providers, the versions, you know, the apps and the activity. But we're interested in getting a code. We're going to click on our avatar, click on keys, and then we're going to click create key. And then you're going to name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it VS code right here, if I can spell. And then we're going to click create. And we have a key right here. We're going to click copy. And congratulations, that's the first step. You have a deep seek R1 key. The next step is head over to Klein. So Klein is a VS Code extension that allows you to add a cursor like chat window and code completionist into your VS Code. So it's kind of like a Copilot, but you can use your own API key. We don't like Copilot because Copilot forces you to use the open AI models that might not be the best and they might not be the cheapest because DeepSeek R1 is way cheaper than um, open AI. So we're going to use Klein. We're not going to install it through GitHub. We're going to install it directly from VS Code. So we're going to go on VS Code. And as you can see, I've already typed in Klein into the extension marketplace. It's free to install. We're going to click install. Make sure you've checked auto update because the latest version of Klein came out. Now we're going to go ahead and navigate over to this small robot, click on settings. We're going to click on the open router. Uh, provider. You can also run DeepSeek R1. I know some of you are running DeepSeek R1 distilled on their machines. It's absolutely awesome. If you're doing that, let me know. I'd love to learn more about that. So you can run it through Olama, but we're going to use Open Router and then we're going to paste our API key right here. We're going to make sure we choose the right model, which is the DeepSeek R1 free or the R1 if you want to pay for it. We're going to use the free one. And then here is the good part. We're going to use custom instructions because we want to make sure it's using the correct uh, tech stack to build the correct apps because these are the tech stacks I personally use in my day-to-day -day job as a software engineer. And I use TypeScript React for projects, um, you know, for the databases, user handling and authentication. I want to use Superbase because that's the easiest, most low lift way to create user authentication flows, user handling and databases out there honestly and it's free you can use it for free for like smaller projects and you want to use tailwind css and material ui for the front end because that's the most modern thing you can use that's all you need to do to get set up and if you check down here you can see that it is using the open router deep seek deep seek r1 free model so we're good to go on there okay so yeah that was all it for this video today that's how you install deep seek r1 and klein into your vs code as you can see i'm creating an app right now that is going to allow me to track my water intake i haven't been drinking enough water recently so i'm building this app 
alongside uh, Klein. So that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm on my way to 20,000 subscribers and only you can help me do that.